We function in a similar way as seasons. We have cycles within ourselves. We're constantly changing. You're never one thing. There's no point trying to control who you are or your idea of yourself. Because, you know, everything is like water. My name is Erdis. My full name is Erdis Heider Chen Raktarsdottir. But to make things easier, I just call myself Erdis. It means, you know, has something to do with healing. I predominantly paint, but I would say that I just, I express. That's, that's my profession is to express. We're in Beijing, China, at the studio that I'm apprenticing at with this amazing master painter called Tong Hongsheng. Coming here, you can clearly see he has huge, massive paintings. He has such a large body of work. And yeah, I think that's been very inspiring to me. We have very different styles, um, but I think that's one of the things that intrigues him about my work. You know, you should think about a painting much like music or a symphony. So you want to have different rhythms happening at the same time. He's very patient and he's very, in Chinese they say xinjing, like he's very um, calm in his attitude towards art. Whereas for me, it's always been this sporadic, like, burst. And being in this environment has been teaching me to cultivate kind of this balance between that sporadic moment that I have and then being able to sit down and translate it as an emotion with paint. And in order to do that, you need to have the discipline to learn this language properly. I was born in Iceland. My father is Icelandic. Um, he's a diplomat. And my mother is Chinese. She comes from a family of gymnasts. So because of my dad's job, we were always moving back and forth. When I was two years old, I, I moved to China. Around five, moved back to Iceland. Then seven, went to Japan. Two years, came back to Iceland. And that's when I was in one location for the longest amount of time. I think I was there for seven years. But yeah, so when I was 16, then I moved to China. I actually went to uh, Central Academy of Fine Arts. I wasn't patient enough to actually sit through the classes. So I was pretty much just, there's a bar on the campus. So I was at the bar all the time, which is terrible. I mean, if you're 18 years old, this is what's gonna happen. <laughs> After that year, I moved to New York. <laughs> I was there for over five years when you grow up in such different cultures and when you grow up speaking three languages equally well, you end up developing all these different personas. So that was a huge issue for me growing up. I ended up also developing eating disorders, which I think was a result of wanting to control the environment because you have so little control. You know, you make friends and you become close to them and then you, you leave and then you're alone again. But you're not only alone, you're also speaking another language. So I was very inspired by my own mixed cultured identity. The confusing idea of like, what is a self? And I ended up studying it. I designed my major called the concept of self throughout history and the modern self as a commodity, which was very fun. In the middle of it, I realized I was an artist, but I was studying psychology at the time and they categorize people in this weird way. You know, you're either sick or you're not, you're either mad or you're not. Pretty much, if you think about an artist, according to the psychology manual, there's something wrong with them. It just made me so depressed. Like, and I was in this hole when I realized I can't do this. I have to design my life. I think there just came a breaking point for me where I just realized like, I'm the happiest when I am a little bit mad. My first painting that I ever made, I was 15 years old, and it was my first oil. It was about 170 centimeters wide, so it's quite big. And it was actually, the painting is called Culture Shock. So it's very meaningful to me, but on one side you'll see, I had Iceland watching over me on the left side. And it was these, it had these eyes and it was just my past watching over me. And on the right side, I had urban China and it was this completely different feeling. And it's, and it's not watching over me. It's kind of like this cold, you know, thing. Um, and they're both alive. And then in the center is me. Um, and this face 
In, in the center is red. It has two faces. It's two faces, which is how I've always felt. I feel like I have, you know, a couple faces. And it's red because of the intensity that I was feeling. It was like I was about to explode. So I oftentimes paint that same face in a different way. This figure actually repeats itself in my work. Even now I'm painting the red figure a lot. In one of my paintings, it's called Beijing Skyline, and I just painted that one, and I used that face, the same face, the red face, and again, split into two, and I used it as to create a, the Beijing Skyline. So you have other entities in that as well, and it's kind of like this, this person that has been dissected and taken apart, and it's representing all the buildings that are being built so fast in the center of Beijing. I feel like my work translates pretty much how I always feel, which is this idea of being separate to the environment, yet at the same time being a chameleon.